Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 110 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to use until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. Take our first break. I know, I'm working out with the baby dumbbells. It's a little over 10 pounds. And the same, two discs of five pounds, plus whatever the dumbbell bar weighs, which I don't really count it. So 10 pounds for lateral and front races. So that's our first that's our first set. Take a little break now. And my leg is feeling a lot better today. So tomorrow is the is the day we're gonna find out. Uh, tomorrow is the day we'll find out what's going on with my leg. Uh, so, seems like uh, being overtraining, <laughs> I've been pushing myself too far. Uh, so, I'll keep the program as it is, one body one body part per day. I'll work it semi hard. So it will be four sets of this lateral and front races. I don't think I, I'm gonna go too far because uh, I'm weak. <laughs> so I'll do as, as much as I can, trying not to hurt myself. And then Next exercise is going to be what's the next exercise? Uh, oh, oh, that's the next exercise today. Oof. Let's see. Oh, it's gonna be reverse flies. And yes, uh, reverse flies are good for your shoulders. Even though some people don't think reverse flies are for shoulders. They're for your delts. And delts are muscles in the shoulders or shoulder muscles. So that's what we're doing today. After we are done with this lateral and front races, we're gonna go to reverse flies. We're gonna keep the same weight. 
Uh, we'll see if we can do it. I'll try to stay healthy, not hurt myself. So we'll find out. All right, time is up. Here we go again. Take another break. Whew. I can definitely feel it already. Even though it's only 10 pounders, they're only 10 pounders. I can definitely feel on my shoulders. And luckily I've been working out for a little bit. My shoulders are not too fragile. I just hope I don't Major my shoulders again. And I'm trying to keep it on a decent form. Even though like the last two or three reps there, they're a little bit moving into the questionable side of it. But I'm pretty sure they were decent. They count as good reps. All right, time's still ticking. I'm gonna try to stay within the three minutes <laughs> break. <laughs> uh, I've been talking too much. And usually it's like I'm quiet, and talk some rambling things, and then it's towards the end of the three minutes when I start talking and then kind of getting the groove of the talk. And then the breaks gets extended. We'll try to avoid that today. Two sets. Oh yeah, remember yesterday. Yeah, have fun. Remember yesterday I went to the camera I had there, which I have it again today, uh, to to see how many sets I did of the curls. Uh, yeah, I ended up deleting the entire video on the other camera. That was useless. <laughs> the video was useless. Uh, Little camera has poor resolution. So, uh, it looks okay, like on the screen, it looks nice, like bright and colorful. Uh, it looks in focus. But the moment you, I start moving and start working out, forget about it. So I turn up the exposure, turn up the exposure and see what happens. Today, and I think that's gonna be. I think that's gonna be the last test. If it doesn't work, I guess I'll use it for uh, live videos in the future, whenever that happens. In the meantime, this is the la the very last test. I uh, turn up the exposure, turn on the face tracking. Yeah, face tracking out of focus. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, time's up. Here we go.
Another break. I'm getting there. I feel good today. I mean, energy levels are not as, as high as the, as, they're not as high as I thought I was gonna be today. Probably because I didn't have my cup of coffee this morning. Or this afternoon when I woke up after work last night. Oh, last night was rough. It was 20 degrees outside. trying to figure out any kind of excuse to go back inside last night it was it was brutal so came home went straight to bed woke up I think it was around 2 30 3 o'clock in the afternoon woke up uh, took a shower went out with my fiance and my little two-year-old uh, went down to Harrisburg we had dinner at a Mexican restaurant and then came back. <laughs> now here we are, or oh, here I am, trying to burn the calories I just ate. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't too much. It was, it was like the perfect amount. Like I got full, but at the same time, it's not like I was trying to stuff my face. I wasn't like hungry with anger. I wasn't hangry. I was just hungry and I ate satisfied with the portions and call it a day. An hour later, here I am. Actually, maybe two hours later. Two hours later, here I am. <laughs> uh, doing my daily routines. I don't think this is the way to do it. Like go eat and then go work out. I think it needs to be the other way around. You need to work out and then eat. But again, Gotta do what I gotta do. Can't tell my friends you gotta wait two hours to, so we can go eat. <laughs> uh, no, but I do feel good. I just don't have the caffeine energy in me yet. Not yet. I didn't have any caffeine. So, which brings me to a point that I will have to talk in the next break on the caffeine aspect. Or not caffeine, but caffeinated beverages, aka soda. Still not drinking juices, though. <sighs> All right. Last set of this lateral and front races, and here we go. Take another break. <sighs> so, as I was gonna say about cal not calories, caffeine and caffeinated beverages, aka soda. I know a couple months ago, towards the beginning of this 300 days 300 days fitness challenge, I made a commitment to myself. To eliminate juices and sodas as a way to eliminate eliminate the extra sugars in my diet 
which in my opinion was the right move to do. I still do think so. However, <laughs> uh, the no, sh no sugar uh, philosophy has evolved into no sugar from sugar. Uh, so, going back to my old roots of calories in and calories out. So, still not drinking juices. <laughs> I found out that uh, Sunny D has 60, somewhere 60 or 50 calories per 8 ounce glass. Uh, so I'm like, should I, should I not? It's like, yeah, you know what? I don't need those 50 calories. Uh, bad Felicia. So, what I'm trying to say is if you go out on a date, you having a steak, you having a salad. It's an it's an amazing dinner outside. You're on a date. The worst thing you want to do is, well, not the worst thing. The worst thing you can do is get a beer, <laughs> get a locker. This is a lot of calories in the locker. But get a regular soda, or you don't want to ruin your meal with just water, even though water is just fine as it is, you want to continue enjoying the moment, enjoying the flavors and whatnot, because that's what you are out for. You're out to enjoy the night. So, I do not think there's anything wrong with having a zero calorie beverage other than water. So, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, they will do the trick. So, Eliminating all the regular sodas, still eliminating all the juices in my diet or in my eating habits. All those are eliminated right now. The only thing, the only soda I'm drinking, or I, I will include into my diet is going to be diet soda with zero calories. All right, time's up. Let's go back to it. Here we go. These are going to be reverse flies. Here we go. Take another break. <sighs> Reverse flies, they felt good. <sighs> this particular weight is in a weird spot. It is borderline too light and borderline too heavy. It's like right in between. Like I could have five more pounds added to it, to each side. But at the same time, I can't do that. I mean, I could, I could just put five pounds on each, on each side, but then the dumbbells will not be balanced. I don't know, I'll probably have to ask an expert if that's actually I can do. Why not? Let's ask an expert and see what he says. In the meantime, this is it. This is all I'm going to be working with. <laughs> Stay balanced. Oh yeah, I was at a Target today before we went out to, to the restaurant. Uh, I found dumbbells at Target. 
I was surprised. I was like, wow, this is like gold. They were a little pricey, but well, anything, everything on Target is pricey. But, uh, found dumbbells. There are many places that are out of fitness equipment today. I was happy to see dumbbells. And I saw some 15 pounds in there. 15 and 20. Actually from 20 down as a dumbbells. I didn't see anything from 25 on. I didn't see any 25s. I saw 120. Then the rest were 15, 10, 8, 5, 3. Stuff like that. Yeah, I was chest. I was actually trying the 15 pound one. That felt good. I mean, for this particular exercise, it's perfect. At least for me, 15 pounds is kind of what I need. All right, time still ticking. Time is still ticking. Just a few more seconds. Not too much. Back to a second set. And again, I'm trying not to stretch too much these breaks. <laughs> not talk too much. <laughs> All right, time is up. Here we go. Another break. Uh, let's see what this little camera is saying. Uh, out of focus. Uh, that's, yeah, it loses me. Every time I move, uh, there's a guy that told me that this particular camera lo loses me in this environment. Mostly because the light is everywhere. Even though I'm telling it, I'm telling the camera to <laughs> to follow my face, still kind of gets confused with this light back here, and I don't have a light on my face here. So I don't know. It it should work just fine for live streaming, which still ha I haven't done yet. And I don't know when I'm gonna be doing that either. <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever these 300 days are over and my trans transformation is complete, I'll put my 300, 300 day result in a video compilation and I'll continue working out. But the videos are gonna be, I don't know if they're gonna be the same format or what format they're gonna be, but you're still gonna hear from me here. All right, let's continue. Time is still ticking. We need one more set. Is it one more set? No, two more sets of this reverse flies. I think it's two more sets. Here we go again. I can't count to, to four. <laughs> I'm trying to make it to 300. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I did. Uh, I think that last one was my second. My second set. So we'll do two more sets. We'll go to do some shoulder press. And when we're done with the shoulder press, we're gonna load this little dumbbells with some weight. 
That'll be. Um, I'm not sure. I'm gonna load it maybe 50 pounds in each side or 40 pounds on each side to do the shrugs. Time is up. Here we go. I'll be right back. Time. time is ticking now. I should have start the timer first. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna bring the bench over here. There's still only one more set of this reverse flies. I think. If not, hey, at least a workout. It's not like I'm throwing money out of the window. <sighs> Still beneficial to me if I do one extra set. <sighs> and this is probably not on frame, but I have here. little pulley and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a cable there and do some exercises in here using this pulley system thing homemade stuff DIY do it yourself so yeah I figured that that's gonna be the right spot especially if I'm gonna do Tricep push downs. Triceps, or if I feel adventurous, uh, lats pull downs, and depending on what kind of attachment I get. If I get any type of attachments, I was thinking about using this since it is so flexible. Flexible, not in the as uh, like flexibility of more as in like I can take it off and use it. Elsewhere. All right, time still taking. We'll do one more set of this reverse flies. Then we'll bring the bench over here. Uh, yeah, we'll bring the bench over here and do the shoulder press. That's kind of half through the video right there. Whew. All right, all right. a few more seconds to go and tomorrow before I do before I work out my legs I'm going to go for a little bike ride and see how tomorrow's exercise is gonna go we'll see you'll find out what I'm going to do tomorrow if you see on the Right at the beginning of the video saying oh, today's exercise is right on the screen and the only exercise on the screen is squats or something lame and you know that I hurt myself on the bicycle before I came to work out here. Anyway, time is up. Here we go.
Let's just take another break. Luckily, I didn't hurt myself there. Remember, I now remember one important thing. It's done for this exercise I'm gonna do now. It's not 10 pounds shoulder press, it's 20. So I need to put some more weight. <laughs> I need to put some more weight on this thing. It's not a big deal. Taking into consideration that these little clamps are amazing. <sighs> Look how easy this thing is. <laughs> Slow it. And clamp it. Done. Next. Take it off, load it, clamp it, alright, take it off, load it, clamp it, done. Easy enough. This camera just a tad. Not that it matters much because uh, the quality of the video on this camera it's very low. Alright, so since we already have 20 pounds in here total we just have to put two tens on each one that'll make it 40 right <laughs> 20 and 20 is 40 last time I checked even though some people will say no 20, actually my English teacher will say, no, 20, 20 is not 40. 20 and 20 is 20, 20. 20 plus 20 is 40. Yeah, here we go. Anyway, too much talking, let's do it. good felt good didn't hurt myself that was a good move let's move on let's take a break I can definitely feel it on my shoulders trapezius delt and after this is shrugs With 40 pounds is plenty. And just like this exercise, I'll try to control my emotions. Keep the good form. Or a decent form, as good as I possibly can anyway. Whew. Yep, yep. So yeah, my English teacher used to be so 
be specific about what you're talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, and he's right. 20 and 20 is not 40. It's just two 20s. 2020. Which, by the way, was an interesting year. <laughs> I'm glad it's over. <laughs> 2021, I don't know where we got, where this one is going. It's kind of too early to tell. But here we go. We're in 2021 now. I don't know if I should actually oh, get up. And a little walk to make sure the blood flows direction is supposed to flow I'm glad my leg feels a lot better from time to time I remember like there's like a little bit something in there that kind of makes me rem remember hey Kelvin something happened to this leg take it easy but for the most part it's good it feels feels good um, I can still walk, I don't limp when I walk. I can go up and down the stairs. I try not to walk too fast or run or jog or any of that. At least I've been trying not to do any of those for the past couple of days. So tomorrow's gonna be the test. I'll go for a bike ride. Might lower my the seat on, on my bike to reduce the stress when stretching the leg every time I pedal so the pedals will be not so you know what I mean right? I hope you do <laughs> so when I pedal the, the leg doesn't go all the way out so maybe 70% stretch anyway time is up let's get to it this is the second set of this shoulder press. Another break. Very uh, time is ticking. Uh, this this format I'm doing here is like when you work out with a friend or two. I want say more like two friends. <laughs> Just one friend. <laughs> Your one workout buddy or your two workout buddies go to gym while one is finishing up the conversation, starting their set, you're talking to them, which by the way, is usually what's happening. You get off the bench and the other guy is going at it and then he finishes. The other guy comes up, goes at it, and when he finishes, then you go. So it's maybe three minutes. It's probably less than that, but keeping it at three minutes is pretty good for me. All right, time still ticking. That was the second set of the shoulder press. <laughs> uh, then after that, I'll take the bench and kick it out of the way. I don't want to keep it in the background. I don't know. Too much clutter in here. And this is a very limited space that I have. I need to get as much use as I possibly can out of it. So. 
been serving well so far. Just have to keep on moving this bench. At least I don't have to move this thing anymore. <laughs> Which, by the way, for tomorrow, this is gonna be up here again for for squats if I survive the bike ride. <laughs> I'm not gonna go for a bike ride today. I'll wait until tomorrow. Yeah. And that is because I might go to work tomorrow. I might have to go to work tomorrow, tomorrow tonight. If I go to work tonight, and before I go to work tonight, I hurt myself. Oh, it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be a miserable night. Even though I can call off sick, it's just while well, this pandemic still going on, the last thing I want is nosy people wondering why I'm calling off. You have I have the Roni Row now, or this or that, and all I have is a boo boo on my leg. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is the third set. Here we go. gas on that one. <sighs> Last break for this particular exercise. I don't know how it happened, but I did lose gas on that one. So that being said, I gotta rest on this one because I definitely want to push past 10 reps with good form. It seems, seems like I've been drinking more water lately, too. Which is good, I think. Especially for a fat loss type of situation is going on in here. I still have plenty of fat to lose. Oh, man, I'm so... <laughs> Ashy. <laughs> uh, still have plenty of fat to lose. Most of my fat it's, seems to be stored back here on my love handles. Love handles, uh, belly, and that's about it where it goes the most. Then the rest of the fat is distributed pretty evenly throughout the body, seems like. Uh, I'm not sure what type of body body what's the word I'm looking for body type I'm not sure what type of body type I am but it doesn't I don't seem to take too long to start losing fat uh, which is good for me I know not everybody's the same uh, but the model the just dedication and be focused on what you want and work hard for it that will definitely work for everybody. I'm doing what is working for me. Even though what is working for me kind of got me injured already. <laughs> uh, out of all the little injuries I've had since I started working out, the leg one is definitely the worst so far. Uh, this on my arm, which I'm not sure what it is but it's like at the bottom of my bicep. Started way before I started working out. Um, remember hurting a lot when I was holding my two-year-old, when she was not even two years old, she was just months old. Every time I had her on my arm, like probably for having my arm locked in this position for too long. 
at least that's what I feel like that's the result of my arm hurting there then now that she walks I don't have to carry around <laughs> so my arm doesn't hurt that much until like sometimes I'm working out or doing curls or something I kind of feel it. it kind of hurts oh when I'm doing pull-ups but anyway too much talking let's focus on this 10 plus reps here we go Ran out of gas again. I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want to hurt myself. So, second I'll break. I could probably push it to do a couple more, but I'd rather just leave it there, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's put this to the side. And start loading the dumbbells, smart bells. And 40 pounds per dumbbell is the max I can do. I mean, realistically speaking, 40 pounds in each dumbbell. It's pretty much all the weights, all the small weights I have for dumbbells. I could jump from there to 50 as in putting 225s on each or 235s on each and then put small plates on but that's for later on. Alright let's keep loading these things. Maybe next time I'll start doing this shrugs with 50s. I doubt it. <laughs> now we'll find out if I can do too many reps and too many reps for shrugs is more than 20. Next time I'll probably have to start with 50. 50 pounds dumbbells and these things are heavy. They are really heavy right now. So, this exercise, it's gonna take a little bit of me just to take them off the floor both at the same time. All right, just a couple more seconds. We are at the end of the video. Oh. I'm gonna have to reset that camera because that camera is about to shut down again. <laughs> this video's been kind of long. All right, let's do our first shots. Here we go.
Let's take a break. Let me reset this camera in one sec. Yes, I do have to reset the camera. <laughs> have to intentionally stop the recording and start it again. Simply because that camera has a 30 minute video limit. You can only record up to 30 minutes. Then it just stops recording. If you want it to continue recording, you need to press the button. I'd rather press it to stop and press it to start. That way we continue where we left. Now, surprise, the camera stopped recording 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Unlike this one, which is the crappy one. Oh, let me put it here so you can see the shrugs going on. Uh, this one right here, it continues recording non-stop. It does split the files which is kind of annoying <laughs> but i'd rather have the split file than the stop file like i have to stop it and do it again which is kind of why i'm kind of hopeful that this thing works <laughs> uh. so i will say anyway i don't think this is gonna cut it so i'll have to continue giving you good quality videos but at an annoying price. Have to go, stop, continue, and keep on going. Alright, see, time is still ticking. The things that I learn as, as I go with this. Like knowing now what I knowing last year before I bought that camera, what I know now, I wouldn't have bought that camera. Actually, not even bought this one either. <laughs> uh, would have bought something completely different, different brand. Now, the quality on that one is pretty good. I like the quality of the video on that one. But I don't like its little quirks. That kind of annoying. I like the convenience of this one, but it's not good quality. But anyway, it was for the price, it's, I don't think I would have gotten any better than that for the price. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit better. All right, time is almost up. And next time with the shrugs, we're gonna do them with 50s. 50 on each side, and they're gonna be 25 pound discs. Here we go. break they are getting heavy but I'm still able to do more than 20 reps so that probably lit up the light and you're probably now saying you call those injuries to yourself <laughs> We're seeing you struggle and then you want to put more weight into it. <laughs> yeah, it's just the competitive mind of mine. It's my competitive mind. I know I can do more. And it's not just knowing I want to try it too. All right, two more sets of these trucks and we'll call it a day. Whew. Running out of the 
water. Done with today's exercise. I can't wait. Going back inside. We're going to watch a movie. No, oh, sorry. We're gonna play some video game first. <laughs> and I'm not much of a gamer, but when you have a two-year-old, you gotta let your child from inside go a while too. So we're gonna go play some video games. Then put the baby to bed and then we'll watch a movie. Sounds like a date night to me. Alright, almost done. This is the third set. Yep. I remember this time. Third set, the shrug, which I gotta. Slightly, I have a slight feeling that I'm gonna fill the shrugs tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully I sleep well tomorrow. I mean tonight, and I don't wake up with a neck like this, all hard and whatnot. Just like last time I did legs. All right, just a couple more seconds. Time is up. Here we go. Take our last break. We'll see if you're gonna see me here tomorrow. Hope everything goes well. And please hope everything goes well too. Yes. I'm a little worried. That was a real, really weird pain and real it was just like strange how everything happened I worked out I was so excited so happy and then a couple hours later bam like what the heck <laughs> like now I'm limping I can't I can't put my legs straight I couldn't do anything but now hopefully with working only one body part a week I'll give my body plenty of rest. I'm still working out every single day, just not too repetitive, 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 repetitive. And I'm giving my the muscle groups more time to recover. Plus, it doesn't it doesn't help that I don't have a regular schedule. I. Uh, don't work, don't sleep as much as I would like to, or as well as I would like to. And it's a it's a very important it's very important to have very good rest, not just as an athlete or as a person that works out, but in general to be healthy overall. It's good to have a good good night's sleep. Or a good sleep. Uh, some people say that the night was created for people to sleep, not to work. Which I kind of like the theory, but my job doesn't think so. 
<laughs> so sometimes I have to work at night. But yeah, uh, you gotta rest. You gotta let your body recover. You can't go four hours of sleep, four hours of and sleep, and then go out all day long, 16 hours. And then come back, try to sleep a little more, and then go on again. That that will kill you. That's that's insane. That's what's happening to me. I can bar- I barely sleep. I and I can't have a routine. It's not like I wake up every day at the same time. Sometimes the phone wakes me up. Sometimes I wake up. Sometimes my two-year-old wakes me up. <laughs> anyway. This is the last set of today, and then I'm gonna go and live my life. All right, time is up. Here we go. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.